These are called dental brooches. The dentists today have never heard of one, but I think they were used for things like root fillings before there were other tools. A good way to get a tiny little cotton wool swab, which is very handy if you've got infected material close to the eardrum. Irrigation is also a good option though. So, and the other thing these do that is a bit special is if you want to put ointment against infected skin down near the eardrum, it's the only way to do it. So you get the smallest bit of cotton wool almost always when you start to try and do this you'll make it too big so it has to be quite small you leave it so that there's an three millimeters four millimeters of cotton wool past the tip because that's your mop and then you squeeze it hard and wind it so it doesn't come off easily and then you've got a mop and you try it out to make sure that that pointy bit isn't going anywhere and then it's ready to use that's about, you don't want them any bigger than that if it's an infection. And then you get it, take it into the ear like we've already shown with wax rings. But in an infected ear especially, you will not be able to see what that's doing. But you, you can feel that it's sliding on the wall and eventually you can feel quite gently that it's got to the eardrum and then you just, you know, you've done what you need to do. Very useful tool. You would, could either do it with or without a speculum. I'm actually, I've got somebody who is probably happy if I touch his eardrum. So let's just do that just to show. So that now is halfway. I can see where the hairs have stopped and the pink skin started. And it will be touching the wall with the cotton wool, which he will be feeling. And he'll tell me when it touches his eardrum. That's bouncing on his eardrum. I could see it moving. It's an interesting feeling if you haven't had first time round quite correctly your brain is saying this shouldn't be happening but it doesn't actually hurt does it? <laughs> it doesn't. Um, I can do it to myself but I won't. Yeah so it's, it, that's a you know, really handy skill if you've got a if you have to be the person who treats an otitis externa you'll finger there one two three like that again I can see what I want I could get him to do that but I don't need to because it's really a blind procedure that, now it's sliding along the roof. Again, it'll touch the eardrum. And I'm not even, he's not even tell, bothering to tell me now. But that's pushing on the eardrum. <laughs>